Greetings, my name is Todd Birch. It is my privilege as principal to welcome you to the Fargo South High School Academic and Service Award Ceremony. Though we are not able to honor and present awards in person this year, the opportunity to recognize Bruin students for their accomplishments in a virtual ceremony is very worthwhile. Each year, Bruin students demonstrate their academic and citizenship achievements through a number of classes, programs, and activities. Student success would not be possible without the support and encouragement from parents, family, teachers, staff, and friends. I am grateful for your inspiration and assistance. I personally thank the awards committee for all of their planning and work to organize, communicate, and create the awards presentation. They truly are Bruin heroes. I was recently asked, what does it mean to be a Bruin? Short answer, a Bruin is a person who always strives for excellence and demonstrates Bruin class. At South High, class is an acronym for character, leadership, attitude, scholarship, and service. Today, we get to publicly recognize many Bruin students for their class and achievements. I leave you with the following quote from Jimmy Cassis. Expecting excellence from yourself is a choice. Striving for excellence each day is a lifestyle. Congratulations to our award recipients. It is my pleasure to introduce Heather Kinkle, math instructor, to present the Freshman Academic Awards. Academic letters are presented to students who demonstrate significant achievement based on a cumulative GPA from all high school courses taken. The following freshman students have earned a 3.8 GPA through the first semester of their freshman year. Maya Aristed, Olivia Abel, Ramla Ali, Prince Omar Ali Ahmed, Elizabeth Artek, Callie Bukal, McKenna Bessler, Cade Byer, Jessica Bukestead, Evan Booth, Ella Burns, Chesson Coleman, Young Chi Deep, Landon Dawkin, Carter Eberhardt, Bethany Ellis, Anthony Erickson, Natalie Evenson, Sayla Gron, Michael Grensteiner, Riley Hernandez, Nathan Hockstead, Olivia Holm, Madison Jackson, Chloe Jevney, Denise Jang, Kamisa Jock, Samuel Kane, Samuel Kabulu, Amelia Komrowski, Abigail Kramer, Charlie Larson, Gracie Larson, Parker Liedahl, Adelina Majedic, William Marol Stepan, Sierra Martin, Mila Mattern Jacobson, Camden Myers, Carson Nass, Charlie Nelson, Tyler Nielsen, Nathan Ratu, Lauren Reeder, Dawson Rye, Aubrey Rudolph, Andrew Rustabach, Ava Schultz, Jacob Schwengler, Luniva Suba, Felicity Suda, Jared Tesh, Benjamin Thielman, Alexandra Cheganelius, Nicoletta Cheganelius, Michael Vasicek, Zachary Volk, Marissa Wachala, Leah Ward, Aaron Wilkinson, Jager Ralstead, Gage Zimmerman. Congratulations, freshmen. Presenting the sophomore academic letters is math teacher and one of our staff of the month, Ms. Johnson. Sophomore students who earn a 3.7 cumulative GPA 
through the end of semester one or earn a 3.8 GPA for two consecutive semesters will receive an academic letter. The following sophomore students have earned an academic letter. Abram Anderson, Alice Baroth, Michelle Bent, Liv Berger, Alexis Bergson, Elsa Bernard, Brianna Borgen, Sydney Carroll, Paris Cronin, Hung Dong, Jenny Du, Emma Doctor, Aaron Donovan, Keely Eichhorn, Madison Eisenlor, Courtney Feist, Shaley Fletcher, Jessica Frank, Carissa Gosdell, Ayla Green, Zoe Grossnickel, Sullivan Hager, Alexis Hagen, Amy Hung, Kaylee Hopp, Darby Human, Katherine Iverson, Davis Jensen, Lexis Johnson, Alexander Kulk, Jocelyn Kennedy, Jackson Corbel, McKenna Langston, Nicholas Lee, Zoe Lee, Guadalupe Marino Garcia, Gabriel McGarvey, Kevlin McNeil, Zachary Morse, Bryn Nelson, Summer Nelson, Colin Nylander, Laura Fawn, Adeline Rahm, Morgan Reeder, Gretchen Wright Keller, Luke Schioke, Isabella Sexton, Ian Strand, Rand Stroh, Allison Suda, Kaylee Thompson, Christian Ullman, Lynn Vo, Xander Whitting, Jada Rolstead, and Jocelyn Zahn. Congratulations, sophomores. Presenting our junior academic letters is Spanish teacher and one of our staff of the month, Mrs. Pettig. Junior students who earn a 3.6 cumulative GPA through the end of semester one or earn a 3.8 GPA for two consecutive semesters will receive an academic letter. The following junior students have earned an academic letter. Abuk Akek, Ethan Amundsen, Julia Beckerman, Margaret Basie, Abigail Braden, Devin Briss, Alice Carlson, Chris Nell Charles, Sophia Cron, Kiernan Darling, Braden Detling, Tommy Doe, Ellie Eichhorn, Kelly Emerson, Jaden Erber, Abigail Evenson, Kaylee Finneseth, Kiana Gould, Anna Gatormson, Lillian Hosser, Tyler Hong, Madison Hockstead, Ethan Jablin, McCartney Yunt, Leila Kantarevic, Grace Kennedy, Peyton Kessel, Tanner Kirkaby, Jocelyn Larson, Hugh Lee, Ann Logheed, Antonio Lyons, Jade Maloney, Ivana Marshall, Riley Martin, Emma Marks, Jocelyn Mills, Braden Newman, Taylin Nietzsche Durbin, Bele Mortega, Isabel Osland, Stella Peterson, Sydney Quibell, Gavin Rule, Emma Rieger, Anna Robinette, Madeline Robinson, Ertier Rudea, Emma Rudolph, Caleb Ruziska, Amina Sabanovic, Gwyneth Saylor, Zainab Samura, 
Monica Sauer, Paige Schroeder, Charles Schultz, Isabella Schwartz, Emily Sherva, Ann Smith, Rhiannon Solberg, Gannon Steffes, Dane Sterlogson, Brooke Thorsness, Mark Tito, Tan Tron, Brooklyn Ulrich, Seth Volk, Dana Wiley, Elizabeth Wilhelmy, Ashley Williams. Congratulations, juniors. Presenting our senior academic letters is choir teacher and one of the staff of the month, Mrs. Licklow. Senior students who earn a 3.5 cumulative GPA through the end of semester one or earn a 3.8 GPA for two consecutive semesters will receive an academic letter. The following senior students have earned an academic letter. Ahmed Abdukarim, Dylan Alexander, Emanuela Ampansa, AJ Anderson, Nicholas Antonopoulos, Julia Baroth, Manaj Baturai, Anish Bujel, Mackenzie Bow, Dalton Booth, Emily Brewer, Chloe Bry, Caleb Carlisle, Sasha Coyer, Michaela Doctor, Marin Donovan, Miriam Duncan, Andrew Erickson, Annika Erickson, Hannah Everett, Elizabeth Fisher, Maya Foss, Sela Fredericks, Grant Gillette, Nobin Gurung, Suzmira Gurung, Hadia Hassan, Alyssa Henning, Ryan Hoyland, Vincent Homeland, Preston Howard, Jane Hudson, Trace Ingberg, Maisie Joblin, Jagger Jensen, Micaiah Johnson, Leah Lalonde, Tu Lee, Alyssa McAllister, Weston Mitchell, Bryce Morgan, Marlis Mueller, Zoe Mueller, Avery Myers, Ton Nguyen, Anchi Nitschke Durbin, Ashland Nystrom, Claire Olson, Maxwell Olson, Rachel Osborne, Paige Reinke, Yasmin Samura, Ashley Sather, Parker Seelig, Abrar Sharfi, Brooklyn Sunan, Nathan Thiner, Christy Torgerson, Timothy Victor, Katie Weirs, Nathaniel Rage, Jeffrey Youngs, Sylvie Zamsa, Austin Zern. Congratulations, seniors. Presenting our next award is social studies teacher, Mr. Zozel. Fargo Public Schools is fortunate enough to offer our students college level courses in high school. Advanced placement or AP courses give students the experience of college level coursework as well as the opportunity to earn college credit. The College Board AP program recognizes high school students who have demonstrated outstanding achievement in AP courses and AP exams. The AP Scholar Award is granted to students who achieve a 3.0 or higher on at least three AP exams. The following students have been awarded AP Scholar. Caitlin Christensen, Leah Lalonde, and Christy Torgerson. The AP Scholar with Honor Award is granted to students who earn an average of at least 3.25 on all AP exams and score 3.0 or higher on four or more exams. The following students have been awarded AP Scholar with Honors. Julia Baroth and Emily Brewer. The AP Scholars with Distinction Award is granted to students who earn an average of at least 3.5 on all AP exams and score 3.0 or higher on five or more AP exams. The following South students have been awarded AP Scholars with Distinction. Anish Bujel, 
Miriam Duncan, Vincent Homeland, and Anchi Nitschke Durbin. Congratulations to all our AP scholars. Our next honor is the Presidential Scholar Award nominees to be presented by Assistant Principal Dr. Morchard. The Presidential Scholars Program was established in 1964 by executive order of the President to recognize and honor some of our nation's most distinguished graduating high school seniors. The Presidential Scholars Award is one of the nation's highest honors for high school students. Each year, up to 160 students nationwide are named as Presidential Scholars. This year, Fargo South High School has three Presidential Scholar nominees, Julia Baroth, Miriam Duncan, and Vincent Homeland. Congratulations to our Presidential Scholar Award nominees. We are proud that you are representing the Bruins. Moving to Academic Allstate. Each year, the North Dakota Association of Secondary School Principals selects high school seniors from across the state to be honored as part of the North Dakota Academic Allstate team. The selection is based on nominations from their high school principal, GPA, ACT, or SAT scores, extracurricular activities, community involvement, and leadership qualities. We will now honor the following Academic Allstate students. Honorable mention, Claire Olson. Bronze team, Emily Brewer. Silver team, Julia Baroth, Miriam Duncan, and Vincent Homeland. Congratulations to our academic Allstate team. Our next honor is the North Dakota High School Activities Association nomination presented by our athletic director, Mr. Beaton. North Dakota High School Activities Association Distinguished Student Program recognizes outstanding and deserving students entering their senior year. Students are nominated based on their participation in at least one NDHSAA sponsored activity, citizenship, positive role model to peers, and contribution to his or her school and community. The following student is Fargo South High School's 2019-2020 NDHSAA Distinguished Student Nominee. Congratulations to Alice Carlson. Our next award is presented by school counselor, Mrs. Bame. Hello, Bruin family. I am so glad to be here this day to share the next portion of this program, the President's Education Awards. These awards are given annually to specific senior honor society members who have truly shown what it means to strive for excellence. These students have not only achieved high academic goals with regard to the cumulative GPA that they've made throughout high school, but also through their high standardized test scores. Through the President's Education Awards, students are eligible for one of two honors. The President's Award for Academic or for Educational Excellence, or the President's Award for Educational Achievement. For each award, these students receive certificates signed by the President of the United States, the U.S. Secretary of Education, and our very own principal, Dr. Birch. First, I'd like to recognize eight Honor Society students who have met criteria for the President's Award for Academic Achievement, otherwise known as the Silver Award. These students have not only maintained a GPA of 3.6 or higher, but also have met benchmarks in at least two of the four subject areas on their ACT. Next, I'd like to recognize this next group of 43 students who met criteria for the President's Award for Academic Excellence. This is the Gold Award, which is the highest honor. Students qualifying for this award maintained a GPA of 3.6 or higher and also had a composite ACT score that placed them in the top 25% of the nation. 98% of this year's Honor Society students qualified for either the Gold or Silver Award, which is outstanding. Congratulations, Bruins. Now we are moving on to our next area of today's programs. You've heard a lot today about Bruin class, character, leadership, attitude, scholarship, and service. 
and I am very proud to have the privilege of talking to you about this last area, which is service. So many Bruins are involved in volunteering their time in our school and in the community. Many of our clubs at Fargo South also have a service component. So I'd like to recognize some of these groups at this time. The first of these is our Bruin Ambassadors. Our Bruin Ambassadors have been an enthusiastic and dedicated group of students that are there to provide a friendly hello and welcome to all students and make sure that everyone feels included. I'm sure that you've all felt their president, presence as you've entered school seeing them in their bright yellow t-shirts. Our next group is DECA. DECA prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs and we've all witnessed our DECA students through their management of our awesome school store. But did you know that they've also done several service projects in our community? This year, members of DECA participated in a national movement called Hashtag Lunch Bag, where they put together over 100 sack lunches that were delivered to local homeless shelters. Next is Environmental Club. You may have seen members of our Environmental Club in the halls where each Monday they are sorting through our sticky and smelly trash to make sure that all our plastic bottles, aluminum cans, and other recyclables make it to recycling. Next is our South High Honor Society. Honor Society takes on several projects each year, but this year spent time focusing on two major themes, mentoring students at Lewis and Clark Elementary through their Save One Student Program and raising money for the Alzheimer's Association. Thanks to all South High students who help support these students through donations to Pi, our Honor Society members in the face on Pi Day. Key Club. Members of our Key Club not only met in C30 each week where they um, put together several projects, they also did several projects in the community and completed over 900 hours total as a club through projects such as Kissagram and Trick or Treat for Change. Philanthropy and Youth, otherwise known as PAY, receives $5,000 each year. They spend time researching different nonprofit agencies in our community to determine the best ways to donate this money and impact members of our community in a positive way. ROTC, we've probably all been at one of our many school activities where we've seen members of our ROTC program present the colors during our national anthem. Aside from this, ROTC members participate in many other events in the community, including cleaning up our highways and the Buddy Walk for Down Syndrome. Student Council runs the annual Fill the Dome event where many students have participated in by bringing canned goods and other non-perishable items to help Great Plains Food Bank and members of our community. Finally, all Bruins had the opportunity to participate in serving the FM community during our Bruin Brains and Brawn Day this fall. Members of the freshman, sophomore, and senior classes spread out and worked hard participating in over 20 service projects across our city, having fun while helping others and showing the true meaning of service. Congratulations Bruins and thank you for all of your service this year. Now it's time for me to turn things over to Mr. Bob Holman will be sharing our Caught Being a Bruin Awards. Caught Being a Bruin is a recognition for both students and staff demonstrating Bruin class, character, leadership, attitude, scholarship, and service. Students and staff are identified by their peers and acknowledged on the Caught Being a Bruin wall at school. The following students were Caught Being a Bruin. Marion, Abdurrahman, Christian Abraham, A.J. Anderson, Dylan Bible, Cedric Boa, Chloe Bry, Sydney Carroll, Sasha Coyer, Samuel Cole, Jada Concha, Louis Dion, Pramila Galay, Leah Gingrich, 
Jaden Gores, Molly Hansen, Skylar Johnson, Grace Kennedy, Veronica Logan, Yavana Marshall, Diamond McGill, Dylan Miller, Marlis Mueller, Bella Nickel, Anchi Nitschke Durbin, Jason Puska, Tristan Quibell, Trinity Ralph, Mackenzie Rinke, Gannon Steffes, Bali Tamong, Shelton Thornton, Kiara Usury, Jeffrey Youngs. The following staff were also caught being a Bruin. Chris Adank, Katie Oslison, Nicole Byer, Beth Glander, Megan Johnson, Beth Phillips, Katie Wangstead. Congratulations, Bruins. Our final presenter is Assistant Principal, Mrs. Evenson. Congratulations to all who have earned academic awards and special recognition today. Your accomplishments symbolize your commitment, dedication, and efforts in striving for excellence. As you pr progress in your personal and academic journeys, our goal for you is that you achieve and maintain class, character, leadership, attitude, scholarship, and service. You will be remembered for your class. From the accolades in being a Bruin, to the selflessness in volunteering, and finally, the excellence in scholarship, your character and leadership will continue to flourish. To all, as we wrap up this 2019-2020 school year, the determination, resilience, motivation, understanding, and grace that you have displayed during these unprecedented and challenging times does not go unnoticed. The growth experienced during this distance learning has been immeasurable. Keep striving for excellence and being the best you. We miss you and want you to know that we are thinking about you. You are Bruin Strong.